Welcome to my short video about me and the book Green Reiki Inspiration. It is a special day for me where my heart and entire being is full of gratitude and thankfulness. It is the end of a journey where a new one is about to begin. But before I would like to invite you on your personal journey with this book, I would like to talk about my journey and the history of this book. I feel thankfulness towards all my pupils as without you the book would never have been written. I can still remember when I began teaching Reiki in 1994 in Tittmarschen in North Germany. This was a time where Reiki was taught with unwritten laws and ways. It was very different to nowadays Reiki courses. The courses were very expensive and the settings were often church-like. Somehow, I felt that my way would be different. Not because I simply wanted to be different. My aim was to personalize Reiki for each pupil, for their daily needs and lives, and therefore I never gave Reiki seminars and attunement in larger groups and within a couple of hours. Giving as much as possible personal attention to my pupils and finding ways how they can integrate Reiki in their daily lives were my priority. Within a few months I had the first little Reiki groups and soon it became apparent that our style was different. We met every two weeks and gave one another Reiki with lots of humor and laughter, inspiring discussions and beautiful meditations. We gave Reiki to crystals and gemstones and discovered ways to work with angels and met in the woods, beaches and forgotten stone circles and nature was teaching us. Soon we had healing circles for our land and the people that lived in Dittmarschen and even some children became Reiki channels and helped one another in the schools. We worked with angels and Reiki, gemstones, discovered the tree spirits and anis animal spirits and birthing with this new consciousness in us and around us. Some people asked me already in that time to write a book but only some data were written down by me and stored in all these papers and diaries that I have. Later on I moved to England and soon the first Reiki groups were established there as well. One of my old Reiki pupils from Germany asked me if I could give a follow-up course of Reiki to deepen the knowledge and this was my go-ahead and I began to write. Since I started a training in England as a Druid Druidic knowledge flowed into my manuscript, and when I finished the Druid training, the book was written. Well, almost written in my, uh, finished in my head. So my Reiki journey brought me to America, where I taught Reiki to friends and also shared the wisdom of Druidry. This was the time where a special dog shared my days in a little enchanted house with a stripe of woodland behind it. This magic dog never left me alone and often slept beside me when I was writing. He often was even my desk for writing while the birds were singing and the creatures of the wood often passed by the window in the little house. Soon the book was finished and friends and friends of friends were editing it. Back in England I asked myself, but now what to do with the book? A business uh, advisor suggested to me to perhaps self-publish, as this would give me full freedom. This, however, was a difficult task and very expensive and confusing for me. I had a short look for a publisher, but was not very happy about their offers either. I discovered that I would rather like to publish the book as an e-book to save trees, so I got in touch with Amazon. But this was before the time of Kindle, and so the book was put back into the computer shelf again. Until I discovered Kindle self-publishing a few months ago, I was not thinking about the book as much anymore. But soon the journey began to format the book, which took weeks to do on Windows 7, as these were creating problems with other software. I was persistent despite 
despite all the setbacks and finally published the book to Kindle. The long journey of many years ended and now a new one is about to begin. I would like to invite you to make the journey with this book, to experience life in a different way in using the Reiki way to make your home your sanctuary and to work with an inner sacred space to connect on deeper levels with the different realms of physical beings on this planet. Reiki as a healing tool can also mean that we can heal our relation towards the web of life. It is about that connection that we need to heal in order to live in harmony on this planet and consciously to embrace the oneness. Another important part of creating the new earth is to liberate ourselves from fear and limited belief systems. And also here, Reiki can be a very powerful healing tool. If you want to go on the green Reiki inspiration journey, you can do it step by step. Take your time reflecting and you would be amazed of how your consciousness is changing and your understanding understanding is deepening of this beautiful creation called life on Mother Earth. Talking to the tree spirits and asking for their counsel. With the Reiki way it has a different energy filled with the light and love of Reiki where both share the benefit of Reiki, the tree and you. Working from your inner sacred space for your personal healing and healing others will multiply the Reiki energy and lift your consciousness higher and higher. Liberating yourself with Reiki from your limited belief systems and fears to embark to a new way of life, a life filled with happiness and gratitude. You can make your journey alone, but also join the network if you wish to via my website, which will be set up soon, or you can join the existing new group in Facebook. I will make a longer video soon, which will be available on my website. You can find it here on my author, author blog on Amazon. Thank you for listening and have a blessed day.